And now that Team Rocket is gone, um, the person in front of the Saffron City Gym will be gone, so... You know what that means. We can go into this gym, finally. And I'm gonna keep Bandana in front, actually. So let- you know what, let's do that. So this is the sixth gym in the game. The Psychic type gym. Yo, champ the making. It's free news. Pokemon use Psychic power instead of Force. Psychic type- Oh, fighting type are especially weak against Psychic type. They'll get straight before they even land a punch, yeah. <coughs> so fighting type completely useless here. Well, not completely useless, but not that great. So I don't know why they have the fighting dojo and this next to each other, just so they can get pwned or whatever, I guess. And this is how Sabrina's gym works. There will be... That first one takes you here, and then there are four teleports that take you somewhere throughout the entire gym. And then basically, all, all we're trying to do is to beat all the trainers and then get to Sabrina at the end. And so, let's get that started. And everyone's gonna use Psychic type Pokemon in here. Well, then again, I said that about Koga Gym, and everyone used like Psychic types, not Poison types, which is weird. But I believe all these guys actually use Psychic types. Slowpoke, that's a Water type. You dicks. Well, actually, I think it's a uh, Psychic type too. But I'm just gonna send Drag out to Thunderbolt it and space off. Confusion. Well, I guess it is Psychic type then if we can use that. Well, then again, Venonat isn't, and it can use. Um, confusion. So, yeah. We'll die, Slowpoke. It's still water, so just on its face. And Slowpoke isn't that bad either, because it can. It has two evolutions, basically. No, why do I keep doing that? God damn it! It has two evolutions: Slow King and Slowpoke. No, uh, not Slowpoke. Slow King and Slow Bro. Slow Bro just you evolve it through normal, I think. And then Slow King, how you evolve it into that is by training it with a Kingstone, which is, I think, the same way you evolve into Politoed by training Poliwool that has that. I think. Yeah, see Slowbo, this is the normal evolution. <coughs> and it looks really dopey. And supposedly how they evolve is a shell that bites on the Slow Slowpoke's tail and then it evolves. You don't actually need like a sh shelter in that. I thought, I always thought that'd be kind of cool if you, you actually needed like a shelter and stuff, like to battle the Slowpoke and then it evolve afterwards or something like that. I mean, that would be really difficult, but I just think that'd be kind of cool if that was actually it. Ow, down now. But then again, that would, again, that would take a long time, so what's the point, really? Alright, okay, so we're up here. Hello. Does what unseen power scale you? It's not unseen, uh, and it's not really a power because I'm kicking your butt. So, no, I'm not seeing it. Johan? Johan? Gohan? Wait, what? Okay, Kadabra. Um, best way to take care of this is Zero. Oh, okay. That would work too, but I'm just gonna send out Zero because, well, first one I thought of really. There's defense. Oh no, whatever shall I do, bite? Future side, what? No. <coughs> yeah, you saw an attack my ass. Well, you're dead. So it doesn't matter now. Bye. You're dead. Okay. Slowpoke, just keep zero. I'm probably just gonna keep one guy in for the entire like battle. I'm gonna try and use zero and cat more just so they get more levels. Because they need to catch up. And that's why, that's what I was planning on, really. So they could level up in this gym, because they're going to be doing the best. And how the heck does a Mr. Mime have Magic Belief? And that was terrible, because I'm a Fire-type. You stupid. Oh, well. Future Sight Tech. No! So yeah, that's what Future Sight does. It, I don't remember how many turns it is exactly. Yeah, on call, whatever. I'll just keep using Bite then. It doesn't matter. So... I keep getting interrupted. Basically, um, what Future Tech does is it, for, they say it for season attack, and then a couple turns later it uses an attack. It's not all that useful, really. I don't think. Yeah, your HP is full. You, you can die anyway. So it's not all that useful. No, not bag. Frickin' bite, dude. Stop recovering, you douche. So yeah. 
not all that useful, I don't think. But whatever, anyway, we killed the Kadapa, and now we are going to move on from Psychic Gohan. Okay, so we came out of that one, so let's go in this one. Usually it's the opposite, like, corner that you want to go into. I'm pretty sure all these teleports actually go somewhere. To where, I'm not exactly sure, but still. Psychic Preston, Slowbo, that's all you have? Well, you're gonna die then. Because you wanna, you wanna know how easy it is to kill you, sir? And I, that was probably not the smartest decision, considering Slowbo's thing. Uh, water type, but anyway, whatever. Because if you use a water type movement, I'm probably screwed. Please don't use a water type movement. Okay, headbutt, not too terrible. Still to 26 damage though, jeez. Uh, disable. Crap. Now what? Only a fight. No, no, I click attack. Let's try that. Eh, could be better. But at least it's gonna get the job done by killing you. Control the wall. And Zero's almost level 39, jeez. And we still have two gyms left before the victory road. Because they recommend you before the vic uh before the Elite Four to get put your Pokemon up to level 40, and we're already there before the end of the 6th gym. And I don't think that was it. But whatever. I think I'm gonna start using Cat, because Zero is low on HP. Pokemon take the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Hmm. Is that floating or whatever, Stacy? Oh my gosh, it's a Haunter. And this is not actually a second type Pokemon. You might be fooled. It is a ghost type Pokemon. It still uses second type moves. And it's still susceptible to Duck. But it's not a second type Pokemon per se. So if something was super effective against only that um, psychic type, it's not going to work. <coughs> I don't think at least. Cat, come on. Don't be so fail. Yeah, see Shadow Punch. That's Ghost that move. Yeah, and this and Honto is really useful if you get him into Gengar by trading. I mean, I would use Gengar if I could trade because it's an epic as a Pokemon, but still, I can't. Can I trade? Yeah, whatever. I think Cat's gonna die. Actually, jeez. Oh crap! Kill it. Okay, I knew I was gonna go first. Yay, Venneku to level 27. Okay, yeah, I knew it! Ah, uh, well, you beat my Pokemon to a severe pulp, you should feel proud of yourself. And actually, I probably should equip the Dark Glasses so the... so the moves are better. The, um, Dark type. But I'm gonna, I think, because Mystic Water and Truckle I think would be better, because in case I run out of Bite, then I'm just gonna resort to that. What does this take me? Okay, a place I haven't been yet. Great. Hello. You and I, a Pokemon shall battle. No, they're gonna sip tea. I don't know. Tasha? Okay. Ghastly. Well, I'm gonna send out zero, zero for that. There we go. Jeez. And my cat is just on my couch on the opposite side of the room, just like s sleeping. I guess I don't even know. Are you alive, kitty? I don't know. I should check. I think she's alive. That would make sense. Destiny bound. What the heck does that do? Trying to take its foe with it. Oh crap! Okay, this is Destiny Bound. What that does, I think, is whenever if you kill the opposing Pokemon, then your Pokemon dies too, and no one gets experience, basically. Unless you had someone previously, and I'm gonna kill myself anyway. So, actually, that's good because if I kill myself, then it's gonna kill him too, isn't it? No, it's not apparently, because the game decides to be a douchebag and not work the right way. Wait. Eh, whatever. Cause Destiny Bound, whenever one of the Pokemon dies, it's supposed to 
um, take the other one with it, but apparently it didn't work there for whatever reason. It might only be when, like, they die, you die, not when you die, they die, which I think is stupid, but, eh, I guess that has to have, be kind of even. Okay, yeah, Haunter, what, whatever, whatever, I don't care. You're dead, sir. 33 minutes! Oh, no. I lost after all. You did, because you suck, man. Now, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Crap. Okay. Did I fight you yet? I did. You're the top person. Okay, um... I didn't go down here yet, did I? Um... Did I fight you, sir? I'm scared. Well, I cat, anyway, even if I... Yeah, I did, okay. Now, how do I get... This is the tricky part, getting out. You might not think that's it. I think I've actually fought everyone in here, so I could just go to Sabrina. Oh, no, I haven't fought this person. Okay. You know what? I'll fight you. Sure, why not? Sabrina is far younger than I, but she is in my respect. Well, that means you suck. Amanda would like to battle Gasly. Okay. Um, cat, yeah. <coughs> well, actually, I don't think I should be leveling up Cat that much, because Cat's gonna get a lot of action in the, in the next gym. Actually, the next two gyms, really. Now that I think about it. Because, um, Water type is gonna be super effective against both of them. Yeah, see what I mean? Now no one gets the experience. Actually, Venonat will get it all, won't it? Yeah. So now both our good guys are dead. Um, send you go to see why not? Oh my gosh, everyone! Yeah, everyone's almost level. Holy jeez! Seems like they like level up with you or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just yeah. Cause I remember coming through here, and my Pokemon were only like level 35 or something, which is weird because. I battle every single person here, and I'm and I'm this over leveled just by battling everyone. Okay, how do I get out? Um, this way. This is where I came in, right? No, it's not. Freaking a. What I come in from? Here? Yes, thank you. Let me out. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna actually battle Sabrina in this gym. Uh, in this gym? No, in this episode, and then end up there, I think. But I need to heal, so. This is gonna be a long A file. Because basically, what I do is for editing, I just put it in virtual dub and then lay in the background. I mean, I have to listen to the entire thing over again, not with a voiceover, by commentary, but still. I have to listen to entire musical I'm doing it, so I usually just turn my video all the way up and that usually overpowers it. I can still, I mean I can still hear it, but still, it's not as bad. Because there's no other time I can really do it, because I don't want to just sit here for 40 minutes getting, like, nothing done while it just, while it just gets through there. I mean, technically it wouldn't be getting nothing done. Now, I haven't fought you before, what the heck? I thought it did. What, do you respawn? Is that it? No, it's like a tyrant. I don't remember you. Well, I'm gonna murder you, Mr. Mime, so... Um... No, zero. I'm probably not gonna level up Cat as much, cause... He's basically... It's... Basically gonna be owning the entire next few gyms. And then, um... Drago's gonna be owning the sea routes, cause now that we have Bite, we could... the Sorry. We can go on the sea routes, which is actually where the next gym is. So, technically, I think the next two gyms are unlocked, both of them. So we can go to the 8th gym right now and just beat it. Because I think it unlocks after you beat Silphco, I want to say. Maybe you have to beat the 7th gym, too. Ah, dude. I don't, know, I don't know, though. Exactly. Stop using Magical Leap, you douche. Zero's confused. Yeah, well... Good. Thank you, Zero. Thank you for pulling through. <coughs> Whatever. So, yeah. Yay! Hadoorah! Hadoorah! And 
I don't know what that was, but whatever. Future sight, and you're probably going to be there before you even get that off. Snapped out of confusion. Awesome. Bite. Yep, you're going to be dead on that. So you probably... You, you're freaking douche. You're probably going to die anyway. Yeah, you're going to die. You're going to die. And they die. Well, actually, only he died, but whatever. And Zio is level 39 now. Awesomeness. Speed is psychic Tywin. I don't believe this. Well, you should. Acceptance is uh, part of the process, and you should learn to accept it. Get it? Acceptance. Accept it. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, yeah. Uh, I battled everyone already. Because there's only seven trainers in the entire ring around Sabrina. The thing is, how do I get to her? Because that, that's the most annoying thing about this gym, really. And I already went here. It's just finding the one warp to get to her, because I don't remember which one it is. That's the most annoying thing. I think it's one of these. It may, might be. So I think I already went in that one, so let's try this one. No, well... I'm just gonna keep trying warps until it works. I might have to cut out stuff if I don't find it, like, right away. But still. I know it's not this one. None of those, they do it. Um, this one might. No, these don't. Um, let me try that bottom right one, because I don't think I've been there yet. Yeah, again, this is just the most annoying part of trying to get to freaking Sabrina. It's just so difficult and tedious and tedious and. Ah! Yeah, I don't think it is that one. Um, let me just go back. Okay. I don't remember which one it is, which is kind of the most annoying part, really. Then again, I haven't played this in a long time, so I sh shouldn't expect to remember. Yeah, this room is cleared out. So I think I've been in every warp in those two lower rooms. Okay, let's try this one. No. So I've been in those two lower rooms already, so both of those are cleared out and not available. Yeah, nope. Oh wait, now you a different room now. Well, I'll try this one anyway. Yes! I'm going to kill you. I've had second power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I shall show you my powers. There is no spoon. Any of you get that? You're awesome. Then again, who shouldn't get that? Because I think everyone watch that movie. I forget which one it is actually. Ow! There's something like on the bottom of the desk hurting my knee. Well, leg, but whatever. Okay, and the epic gym music. So get Cat in here and tank and pwn all these psychic type Pokemon, really. Psybeam, dude. How much is that gonna do? Ooh, that actually did a lot. I'm gonna have to kill you, sir. So if might actually do more than Bite does, but I'm just gonna use Bite because it's super really effective and it's gonna do basically double damage. <coughs> Essentially, that's what super effective is, I think, is supposed to do. But whatever. Actually, I might have to split this. I don't want to really put up a 40 minute video. No. Yeah, I don't let this up anymore. Whatever. I don't really want to put up like a 40 minute video. Just as a normal video, maybe it's like a special or something. I don't know. Or like a special episode, like maybe episode 50 of this, I'll do like an hour episode or something. I don't know. Just depends. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna split this in two somewhere. I don't know where exactly I'll find a good spot. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how long it is. Because if it's too long, you biatch. Yeah, whatever. If it's too long, if, if it turns out to be like 50 minutes, which it might, I probably won't do all one episode, and I'm gonna heal actually, just in case. Because I don't really want it to be a 50 minute episode and have to sit through, well then again I'm gonna have to sit through the virtual dub anyway, because it's all the same. And all the uploading times will actually be the same. It doesn't really matter, but... You guys don't want to watch a 50 minute episode, really, do you? I don't think you do. Venomoth. 
sure I'll switch. This is the evolved form of Venonat, by the way, just so you know. Um, it's a psychic bug, so I'll send out Zero to do some flamethrower goodness. And there's Venomoth, level 38. I don't, again, I don't remember what level it evolves. Oh my gosh, Zero's getting confused left and right in this entire gym. Jeez, dude. Yeah, you hurt yourself in your confusion because you're a little bitch. No, not really. Zero's epic, but, you know. <coughs> yeah. No, I'm not gonna talk about it, actually. I was gonna talk about something, but that would be kind of spoilers as to the, one of my future projects, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to spoil for you. Really. Then again, I'm, I haven't really spoiled the other three, except if you, like, go to my, um, whatchamacallit, fellowship players, I, like, talk with people sometimes. I said one of them then. Well, then again, I don't know for sure that I'm going to be doing those three projects next. Because I don't know if I want to be be doing three projects at the same time on my channel. I mean, if I'm participating in a race or something, then that's fine on someone else's channel. Then I don't really have to worry about uploading and stuff. Because, I don't know, because school is so busy and stuff. And then also my family being douche. Well, not really. My brother mostly. Which he actually is staying upstairs, which is where his room is. So yeah. And Alkazam, I'll keep Zero in just for the epic end of Zero killing Alkazam. Oh my gosh, level 43. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna use a straight out flamethrower. Holy crap! Thank you for stamping out of confusion, though, Zero. How much damage is that gonna do? Ooh, that actually did a lot. I'm just gonna do it again, and then hopefully kill him. Future side, you are stupid. I think even if it gets a critical hit, he's not gonna win. So yay, we are going to win. Maybe. If he gets a critical hit, it might kill me, actually. Ooh, no, it didn't, but my special defense lowered. Or if this does less damage for whatever reason. And yeah, he's dead. And he's gonna give a crap, oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, 1,700, jeez. That's almost as good as Victory Road ones, because the Victory Road guys are like level 40, but they still give like awesome experience, like 2,000s, I think, even. It's like 1,500 to 2,000s. Okay. The Mush Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Showing a Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. You're still raising your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take the CM with you. You got TM04, which is calm mind. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. Uh huh, well, I would crush your skull then. Because your gym is annoying. I mean, it's fun, it's just annoying, because all these freaking warps and crap. Now I have to find my way back, because there's no, like, warp right back to it. I think I got it, though. I do. And then this one right here. And we are freaking out of this gym. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Well, not really. Because, then again, this would have taken three to four episodes normally. If I you didn't have the unlimited time limit. Now it's only going to take like two. So I'm just going to split, split it in half somewhere. Maybe not perfectly in half, but I'll try and get it as close as possible. If I find a good stopping point that I had. Just randomly. So yeah, okay, so in the next episode, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna actually look at my town map, which is something I almost never do. Okay, so we have gone to all the places, basically. So the two gyms left are the one in Viridian City that we couldn't get to in the first part of the game. And then over here to Cinnabar Island, which is the seventh gym. And Cinnabar, you can kinda guess what type they're gonna be using. And then the Seafoam Mountains are over here, which is where one of the three legendary birds is, but we don't need to worry about that. And actually, no, that's not it, I don't think. Because there are islands in this game, there are like seven other islands that you can go to. <coughs> like, I think it's only the post game you can actually go to them. 
So yeah, and then there's Cinnabon Island and pa and you actually get there from you can either get to Cinnabon Island from Pallet Town and go down, or you can go from um, Future City and go all the way across. I'm probably just gonna come from Pallet Town down and then later do all these because we're gonna have to go to see from Islands anyway. I think I think it might be part of a yeah, it's technically a side quest, but I mean something else bigger than just the legendary bird. Because actually, the legendary birds are one in Seafoam Islands, one over here at the power plant over here, which I could probably get right now. Which I might actually do in the next episode, maybe. We'll see. Just go north of there, and since we have surf. Yeah, I think I might actually do that in the next episode instead of this first. Just to show that off. I mean, I'm probably going to need to buy some more stuff, though. And then this one is the another legendary bird, and then there's another one on the second island, I think, on Mount Blaze, which you can obviously guess what type the legendary bird is gonna be, but Mount Blaze. And then I might actually get a Pokemon though, I don't know. It depends. But anyway, I am prolonging this ending, and oh my god. Okay, so next episode we are pu we are either going to the power plant to try and get one of the um, legendary birds, or we might go somewhere else. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. We, I might go to like the Spy Zone and catch a couple more Pokemon that I don't have, and maybe try and look for other scientists and stuff. But yeah, and then there's stuff, this stuff over here which we can't do yet because we don't have all the badges. So yeah, we'll probably go to the power plant next episode, and then after that we will go back to Pallet Town and probably visit our mom, and then go down to Cinnabar Island. So yeah, that'll be next episode. So, this is Coach Casio, signing out, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.